Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markwe at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. This is Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Marquis of Living Streams International, bringing you matters of faith with Graphic Online. And before I even say anything, I just want to repeat it again. We are embarking on a 21-day fast from the 18th of January to the 7th of February. And what we're doing is we're seeking the face of God 21 days of from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m., praying and seeking the face of God, dedicating the year into His hands, committing ourselves into His hands, our aims, our dreams, our aspirations, and all the goals that we have, laying it on the altar in prayer, seeking the face of God, and uh, asking God to, to uh, stand with us and protect us and all those things. We're praying. We're really, 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 really praying. And we're inviting you to join us from uh, the 18th of January to the 7th of February uh, from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. every day. And on from Mondays to Fridays at 7 p.m. to 8 p.m., we gather at the church site, Life Cathedral, in the Zoe Chapel, and we pray. Our fast has been characterized by great, great and serious testimonies. Powerful testimonies of angelic visitation. I'm talking about real angelic visitations. People appear and disappear. And this is what I'm talking about. And we've had some very frightening testimonies and powerful testimonies. Join us on our 21 days as we seek the face of God. I'm still on 1 Samuel chapter 17. And this morning I'd like to capture my thought in be careful what you wish for. Now, in 1 Samuel chapter 17, Goliath comes to town. And when Goliath came to town, the Bible said he began to say some things that um, got the whole of Israel in fear. Look at what Goliath says. He said, Am I not a Philistine and are you not servants of Saul? Choose out for yourself somebody who is going to uh, fight with me. And the whole of Israel was afraid, including Saul himself. Now here's the interesting thing. And I'm very intrigued by what he said. The Bible says when he came to town, look at what he, how he described himself. He said, Am I not a Philistine? And then to the people of Israel, he said, Are you not servants of Saul? Am I not a Philistine and are you not servants of Saul? And then, I mean, he kept hammering them, he kept hammering them. And the Bible says they were all afraid. Do you know that what, what Goliath said was true? And Goliath was using the words of the Israelites to trap them. One way or the other, he had found a proclamation, a decision they had made. An utterance they had made. And when they had made that utterance, that utterance, that words they spoke, became their traps of the future. In 1 Samuel chapter 9, when the people of Israel came wanting a king, you remember at that time God was their king. And they, they said, no, we don't want any, we don't want, we want to be like the, the rest of the nations. We don't want God to rule over us. We want a man to, be, to rule over us. And the Bible said Samuel painted a picture of what that man was going to do. He said, you are going to, your men are going to become his men servants, and your mates are going to be his, your women are going to be his mate servants. So you are going to be servants to, to, to this man. And the Bible said that Israelites said, yes, we want it. We prefer to be servants of men than the servant of God. So you see what Goliath came, that word Goliath used, he said, Am I not a Philistine and are you not servants of Saul? What Goliath, if, if, if he was talking, he said, Am I not a Philistine and are you not, are you not uh, Israelites? So that's what he should have said. But he hit the nail on the head and said, You are servants of Saul. It is like you, you, you're having a fight with, with uh, 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 what we call a Russian. And then you say, Am I not a Ghanaian? The Russian says, Is he not a Russian? And they say, Are you not the servants of blah, 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 blah. That doesn't make sense. But this one, Goliath discovered a weakness in, uh, or a chink in the armor of Israel and he hid them there. He said, you rejected the lordship of God. You rejected and you offered yourself to become servants of, of Saul. So what he was saying was true. You know, sometimes the, the enemy looks into the repertoire of our words that we have spoken and then he uses us to trap us in our yesterday. Uses that to trap us and block us from walking into our tomorrow. 
And that is what he did. He threw their own words at them. And now they're incapacitated because they couldn't cope with it. The reason being, they themselves said, we choose to become somebody's heaven. Now here comes David. And when David came, he changed the testimony. David didn't say, he said, who is this uncircumcised Philistine? He said, yes, he's still a Philistine. But he's uncircumcised. That he dared defy the armies of the living God. So David said, I am not a servant of Saul. I belong to the army of the living God. And sometimes you need to change the definition because the definition can be a trap into your future. The proclamations of yesterday will become a sword of Damocles over your neck that hangs over you in the future and becomes a prevention. Watch the things you say and watch the things you wish for because sometimes the things that you wish for will get you in trouble. You may get what you want, but you may not want what you get. They wish for a king. And they said, we don't want the lordship of God anymore. In actual fact, when someone went crying and someone was telling God, they have rejected him. God said to someone, you shut up. They've not rejected you. They have rejected me. So the people of Israel willfully rejected the lordship of God and they said, we want to be servants of a king. So the enemy comes and then he used their own words to trap them in fear and to haunt them with it. In the name of Jesus, if any words you have uttered that traps you in your backyard, in, your, in, your, in, your, in, the, in the backwardness of your yesterday, in the defeat of your yesterday, if you've uttered anything, I raise the blood and I ask the blood to intervene and change that testimony. And David came and David said, No way, Jose. I am not a servant of Saul. I'm part of the army of a living God. That's what you need to do. What? Watch what you wish for. Because if you're not very careful, it will become your future trap. Well, all these choices are yours. And I guess there's very little I can do except say to you, be careful what you wish for. See you later.